Kevin O'Leary goes off on CNN over possible seizure of Trump assets in New York. He said it's like Venezuela or Cuba. This is incredible what's going on right now. People don't understand the ramifications of this case. People don't understand what's really going on here <clears throat> with Trump in New, Trump in New York. Uh, if they could do this to him, they could do this to anyone. I mean, this is crazy. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. Um, but before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button. Share this out so we can get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also, check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon. That's where I talk about things I can't talk about here. There's also a link to my Instagram <clears throat> and my merch store. Also, check out jjthepsychotherapist.com for news as well. All right, let's talk about this news. <clears throat> this comes from the Gateway Pundit from uh, Mike Lachance. And uh, he reports that Shark Tank host and investor Kevin O'Leary went off during a recent appearance on CNN over reports that New York could seize assets from Trump over the massive bond set in Letitia James's case. O'Leary suggested that this will be horrible in the long run for New York and that this is like something you would see in Venezuela or Cuba. He also says that the world is watching um, is watching this and this um, and that is set a horrible president and that's what I've been saying is that's exactly what it is like who would want to do any type of business in New York when they can come in and do this to you <clears throat> they could do this to Trump like I said they could do this to you so um, I'm gonna play the clip here here we go I don't think this case is about Trump anymore I think this case is about New York. It's about the American brand. It's about what we promised the world in terms of fairness and justice and investing capital in a country that's built the largest economy on earth. Forfeiture, seizing of assets. Is that in our nomenclature in America? Is that what we tell people that want to bring their money here and protect property rights? Forget Scary. about Trump. Nothing to do with Trump. You think this is good for business in New York? You think this is good for business in America to take a law that we use to protect people against buying refrigerators at an overpriced value decades ago and apply it against an individual and then talk about seizing assets like he was in Venezuela hmm. or in Cuba? This is well, a ask... very, very, very bad look for New York. And everybody around the world is watching this. This may be well. great. For the attorney general, but this is I not good you. for America. But in terms of the valuation, can you be clear as to why? I mean, why would the properties not be sufficient collateral? What a great message to send out all around the world. Take a claim where there was no monies lost. Uh, for, uh, there was no there was no fraud here in the context no of fraud. actually people losing money. Deutsche Bank, who made the loan, was made whole. And let's make a penalty of half a billion dollars against a, a, a crime, apparently, where no monies were lost. Great message for New York. Great message for America. Bring your capital because we'll protect your property. I think that was a statement that would be much better made sometime in Venezuela. I'm not kidding. That's a scary, mm. scary message. And by the way, there are uh, no again, such thing as half a billion dollar bonds. The there are no half a billion dollar bonds. Never been done before. Never. This law has never been applied. Forget about Trump. Nothing to do with Trump. Everything to do about America and the New York brand. I love this state. My children live here. A horrible message to everybody around the world watching this. Absolutely yeah. horrific. Well, this wait, Kevin, Kevin, but, but hold on a second, Kevin, Trump what will we be, be gone the, one day, hold, this hold attorney on a general I, will be gone one day, and this is what you want to tell I have a wonderful voice, and it won't world. be talked this over. Hold, Kevin O'Leary, I would like to this hear what you have to not say, but America. what are you doing? Yeah, I, not but, it, but it, it's not fire. America. On fire, and they'll tell somebody they were trying to cut him off. They were trying to cut him off because they know he was right. He was on fire. This is not America. It's just wrong what's going on right now. Um, the article goes on to say that Letitia James is being allowed to do in New York 
is downright un-American. I agree. Kevin O'Leary's outrage is completely justified, and it is. And look at it, look at her smiling, and she's just so happy that they just seizing people assets like that. Like these people are disgusting. They don't understand. Like I don't understand they why they can't understand that this mechanism can be turned and turned around and used against them. But let me know what you think about this. Leave, uh, leave your comments down below. Like, share, and subscribe, and check out jjthepsychotherapist.com for the latest in news. Until next time, peace.